In this tutorial, I'm going to show you five different site speed plugins to help you increase your site speed in 2019. You don't want to use all of them at the same time. You would use one. If it doesn't work out well, try a different one. Luckily, I have complete walkthroughs of pretty much all of them, and we're getting started right now. This video is going to be similar to the security plugin video I did earlier. It's linked to it in the description down below. And we didn't pick these site speed plugins just willy nilly. We picked them because they have large amounts of users with good ratings, or I have had personal success with them. So the first one we're looking at is WP Super Cache. It's made by Automatic, or currently owned by Automatic, maybe not created by them. Automatic are the guys behind WordPress as well, and WooCommerce now, they bought that a year or two ago. Anyway, they're deep into WordPress, they know what they're doing. And this plugin has over 2 million installs, tested with the current highest version of WordPress, or latest version, five and a half stars, Sorry, four and a half stars. And it does a whole lot of stuff. Like there is a lot of settings in this plugin. I have a tutorial specific to setting up this plugin, linked to in the card up above and the description down below. So if you want to check out a caching plugin, this is one to check out. But it doesn't work on all websites. And so we have this one here, W3 Total Cache. You've probably heard of this one as well. And usually when Super Cache doesn't work, for some reason, W3 Total Cache does. So if one doesn't work, try the other. And this one's also very popular. One million plus installs tested with the latest version of WordPress and it works. Four and a half stars. And it's a great plugin. And again, there's a huge number of settings in this plugin. I have a tutorial dedicated to just setting up this plugin as well. Link to it in the card above and the description down below. If you think this is helpful content, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified when I publish new videos because I'm publishing on a regular basis and I create videos to help you. So make sure you subscribe. And next up, we have a more lightweight caching plugin with not so many settings, although I did make a dedicated tutorial for it, link to up above and the description. This one's called WP Fastest Cache. It has 800,000 plus installs, tested with the current version of WordPress, five and a half stars. So even though this plugin only has 8,000 installs, 2,300 people thought it necessary to rate it five stars. Whereas these guys, over a million installs, I guess that one's 2,800. But Super Cache, only 889 people voted five stars. W3 Total Cache, 2,800. Fastest Cache, 2,300. All I'm saying is for the number of installs, there's a lot of five-star ratings and they have a five-star average. It's a great plugin. It's lighter weight than the other two. So make sure you check out the tutorial linked to up above. And next is the one I use on a lot of my sites. That's WP Rocket. It's premium only. And it is one of the best caching slash site speed plugins I've used period. Its features include a whole lot of stuff, but one of my favorite ones is a lot of these settings can be done on a page by page basis. So if you want to not cache a page, say you have a page with contact form seven on it, and for whatever reason, you try to cache that page and it doesn't cache properly and ruins the form, which happens sometimes with contact form seven. With WP Rocket, you can turn off caching for that page. It's super handy. And as with all my videos, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below or check out the Facebook group linked to in the description where you can post your questions and probably get answers. And here it shows what WP Rocket does that the W3 Total Cache and WP Super Cache don't do. But again, that's misleading because this is their sales page because I'm sure these guys, Super Cache, W3 Total Cache, maybe even Hyper Cache, they also do things WP Rocket doesn't do. So it's kind of, I don't know. They only pick the stuff they do do and then what the others don't. So it's it can be kind of misleading. So you want to check into all of them and see which one works for you. And WP Rocket, again, is um, is a premium only, but it's pretty inexpensive. And I picked mine up on Black Friday, so I got a super deal on it. It was kind of like the deal you, you can't refuse. So I used to use W3 Total Cash and Fast and Super Cash on every site, but now I just use WP Rocket because I got the super deal. And then one way to get a quick win for load time is lazy load. Now, lazy load means you're loading images as people scroll down the page, you don't load them all right away. And this plugin is made by WP Rocket, and it also replaces YouTube videos with a preview thumbnail. Instead of loading the video into the page, it gives a preview thumbnail, you click on the thumbnail, then it loads the video. And all this means faster load times because you're not loading all this stuff up front. All the images that are visible above the fold, say this page loads right here, all the images you see here right now will, are gonna load with this plugin but then all the rest will load as you scroll down. So these little icons would not have loaded until they scroll down to the bottom 
to where they existed. So lazy load, if you have long posts with a lot of images, can really improve your site speed. And I've got a tutorial linked to up above that shows you how to use this plugin and get the most benefit out of it. And that is our quick overview of some great site speed and caching plugins you can use for 2019. So if you're shopping around, make sure you check out one of these or some of these, or at least the tutorials I link to to see which one will work best for you and speed up your website. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below or in the private Facebook group. There's a link to it in the description down below. And make sure you click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on your screen so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.